Good morning. Welcome to Prayers That Light Our Path on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. I'm so grateful that we can spend time together on these days of the week and draw ourselves a little closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through sharing of His Scripture and by praying together. Such a wonderful thing to be able to come to you and I am so grateful to all of you who, who watch these short snippets or videos. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to spend time with you and with God at the same time. You know, we are constantly looking for sources of strength. Sometimes we take vitamin C to get more strength. Sometimes we go to the gym to get more strength. But you know, basically, when you get down to the nitty gritty of things, most of our strength comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us the righteous shall also hold on his way, and he hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. That comes to us from Job 17.9. You know, Job was a man whose strength, whose vitality, whose everything had been taken away from him. And to be able to find strength, which he did through Jesus Christ, is quite a story to behold, really. Those of you who have never read the book of Job, let me encourage you to do it. It's a wonderful opportunity to, to learn the demonstration of faith. Faith that we have in Jesus Christ is what we can overcome through having that faith. You know, God loves us. God wants us to have the strength. He wants us to have the, the, the happiness, the, the joy, the peace. And all that's available through our relationship with God. I'm so grateful for the blessings that I have every day. I'm so grateful for the blessings that He bestows on all of us as His children. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Father, on our own, we're rarely strong enough as we need to be. Lord, sometimes sickness weakens us. Cares, worry, they all tire our mind and make us less productive than we would really want to be. I know that old age will eventually defeat my body, but even when we're physically fit, we know there is weakness in us. But you promise, you promise that we will be able to continue in your way as long as we have faith and as long as we trust your promise. Make us stronger every day, Lord. Make us stronger no matter how heavy our burdens may be. Show us all the good way and the good that you have done for the faithful throughout history and give us some of your strength when our own strength fails. Father, let our dependence on you turn weakness into strength. Father, we love you. We glorify and in your name this morning we offer these humble prayers. Amen. My friends, I hope that you have a blessed day. It's going to be, I think, a beautiful Saturday, one that we can kind of get caught up on some of the debris and things that have fallen from the trees over the past week. God has been good to us in, this, in the past few days. He has protected us from the fury of nature and has lessened the consequences that it could have had. Be grateful for the blessings that God shows us every day. we are his children. I encourage you, if you don't have a church, to find a good Bible-based, faith-based church. Become part of it. Be nourished by it. And you will find happiness, strength, and joy like you have never known before. 
We're always here to serve you at Hampton United Methodist Church and Faustana United Methodist Church. Our services are on Sunday morning, Faustana at 9, Hampton at 11. I really would like to see you there. To see you there celebrating God's glories with us every Sunday. Also, the ministries of our church are many. There's always something that anyone can find to do that will bring them joy and peace and bring them the fellowship of others like you who want to be full in Christ. Have a great day. Be safe. God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you.